Oh, shoot. There it is. I can't believe I'm actually buying this thing. Yo. Sac Town. Sac Town. <laughs> All right, so we just made it to Sacramento. Today's the day. I officially found the replacement car for the Lexus. Had to bring the boys along just to, you know, make sure everything checks out. We're not telling you what it is yet. That I don't get too hot about the car. But yeah, I'm super excited about this thing. It's, I wouldn't say it's a dream car, but it's definitely a bucket list car. Eddie said if I don't buy it, he's picking it up. So one of us is driving this thing home. But yeah, I hope everything checks out. He sent me a bunch of photos and videos of this thing. So. I pretty much know everything about the car, but it's always different in person. Um, so he's gonna come pick us up on this thing right now. I'm super excited to see it for the first time. Definitely gonna be a fun car to have. There's a lot of plans with this thing. It's kind of a funny story of how I found this thing and how I met this guy. We'll talk a little more about it later after we show you the car, but yeah, it's gonna be a good drive home. I said we're gonna top it out on the way home. I don't home. think we're gonna top it out, but we might do some record time from Sac That's true. to at least Portland. Yeah, we have, Portland. we have about a 10, 10-ish hour drive home without any stops, but we're gonna make a stop in Portland and whatnot, but I think we'll still make it home in record time. It's gonna be a fun drive. <laughs> just sitting here peacefully waiting for the car. This guy pulls out. <laughs> Literally just came up. <laughs> Bruh, we gotta chill with all that. Damn, bro, bro you, you gotta up. chill. You got another one. <laughs> you can't make this up. It was like two seconds later. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Stop making me like, Reconsider. Uh, don't reconsider. Chill. Don't reconsider. <laughs> you cold over there, buddy? I'm warm right here, bro. <laughs> so I'm really surprised. It's like high 30s, low 40s in Sacramento. I did not know it got this cold out here. But yeah, he's about a couple minutes out. Low key, I'm getting like butterflies right now. Super nervous to see this thing. I don't know why. I'm, like excited, nervous, tired at the same time. All of us are running on like a couple hours of sleep. Hey, don't, don't show it, bro. Don't show oh, it. Oh, shoot, shoot. Don't show it. <laughs> he just texted me. He said, do you hear the pops? Does that give it away? Yeah, that does. That <laughs> instantly gives it away. You can play, only two cars. Either you can G37 play this. <laughs> <laughs> and you know we ain't flying out here for a G37. <laughs> yeah. Where's homeboy at, bro? I think he changed his mind, bro. I think he just went back home. He, he for sure. He was like, damn, this thing's hella fun yeah, to drive. Like, like, man, this is too, this is too dope. Oh shoot, there it is. I can't believe I'm actually buying this thing. Damn. Yo. What are we saying, boys? <laughs> What's up, bro? Nice to see you, man. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere. Where are we going first? You want me to drive? Damn, we hopping in the driving seat right away, bro. Who's driving this bus? Shoot, bro, this is crazy. I can't believe this is happening. Crazy. How do I drive this thing? <laughs> so right now it's like half traction off. Gotcha. Yo, this thing already feels rowdy. Just like the first, <laughs> like the DCT is so sick. How it's just like, feels like a little manual car. You yeah. feel that? I do, do you know, I that's do. What I was yeah, yeah, about. yeah. Uh, it feels kind of like a manual it car. Takes a little getting used to. Yeah. yeah. You can, you can easily, like, if you don't know what you're doing, Car will feel really rough. Yeah. <laughs> I just did it because like, like, like <laughs> dude, this is gonna be a fun ass drive home, bro. Alright, zero tickets and zero rest. Alright, first fuel up, 55 bucks. We actually got a dollar off. It was $4.99. Ben over here hooked it up with his rewards number. Got us a dollar off on the first fuel up. What are we saying? All right, boys, it's official. We got the keys in hand. 
Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. No problem. That was a crisp dab. That was I like a crisp that. Dab. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Got what? Eleven hours. I think it's like it's it's eight and a half hours to Portland. Is it? Well, we're going to Portland right now. It's eight and a half hours. We'll try to make it in six. Beamer boy, you guys can officially call me Beamer boy. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm out of here first. Oh, check engines on again. Yo, check engines on again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> First start, check engine Welcome to the Beamer life, right? For real. I, I knew what I was getting myself into. Give me a warm welcome. All right, All right Alex, yeah. round two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> round two. Oh, still be I know, I know, but just like, Bro, we'll why, see. Why in car with a check engine light? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I'll see you later. Thanks, yep. F80, too easy. Bro, I'm doing 90, and these, I mean, these they're pulling away from me, bro. <laughs> the Cali drivers are wild. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so Eddie took over for, for me for now. I wasn't tired yet, but... We both had close calls now. Yeah. <laughs> a motorcycle cop? Yeah. Cop. How's the car, Eddie? Nice. Eddie has an M340, so it's a good comparison. You know, he's a good person to you know compare M340 and F80. Because the other car I was gonna get was an F or an M340. So if it wasn't for the truck, I probably would have went with an M340 because I I need something all-wheel drive. So that's the reason we went F80 because because of the truck. But I don't know, pretty pretty similar. Would you say how they drive, how they feel? Yeah, they feel pretty out. much the same. Jeez, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause, pause, pause. We got mountains all around us, just beauty all around us. Yeah? Driving in a beauty yeah. with a bunch of beauties. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, the power, um, it's hard to gauge. I feel like we're going to have to line up. Yeah, we will. We're I feel like this thing's faster, though. Really? It's more speed on the power. We'll see. I think we'll line up once we get home. Like, in this video, we'll probably line them up. Yeah. That'll be a good comparison. Oh, yeah. It is currently 3.30 in the morning. It feels so good, we finally made it home. Is it 3.30? It 3.26, is. 3.26 power, baby. <laughs> We're gonna go crash and then I'll, we'll continue tomorrow. I'll go over the whole entire car. I know I didn't have a chance to do that. My, like I said, I've just been running all over the place. My mind's just been racing, so. We'll go over the whole thing tomorrow, but man, this thing is sick. I love this car so much. Bro. It's so cool. Yeah, I love this thing. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. All right, so I finally have some time to talk about this thing. Yesterday didn't really work out. We were just all over the place and trying to get home ASAP. But what we have here is my new 2018 F80 M3. So I never really was into BMWs. I grew up just being into super JDM cars. But if you guys know me, I've been a pretty big BMW hater. And it's just because these cars aren't really reliable. Everyone knows BMWs aren't reliable. And I never really wanted to get into that and just always having to work on the car. But if there was one BMW that would make me make the jump, I knew it would be the F80 M3. These cars are amazing. They look amazing. Um, and I found the perfect one. So obviously this is my first BMW. I'm super excited to you know, test it out, see how it goes. If it treats me right and doesn't give me too many problems, then probably keep it for quite a while. Funny thing is five minutes into the test drive, the check engine light came on, but it was nothing serious. It's just because of the downpipes and whatnot. Um, we'll go over this whole thing right now, but yeah, it's a 2018. It's white, red interior. So it kind of checked all the boxes. If you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you know I've been looking for a replacement for the Lexus for quite a while. We actually went and looked at a different F80 earlier this year, test drove IS500. Kind of just been on a hunt to replace this thing because it's getting super old and finally found the, the one. This thing is perfect, everything checks out, super happy with it. But yeah, let's go over this thing. So to begin, 2018, I told myself if I was getting an F80, it'd be only a 2018 LCI. So it's got the updated headlights, it's got the updated taillights, it's got a few interior pieces that are a little different. Um, the wheels, I really wanted the competition wheels. But honestly, these really grew on me. Um, so they have these with like the darker package, the black ones, and then they have the, the light gray ones. Really don't like how the light gray ones look. But when I saw this thing in person, when he pulled up to the airport, super stoked on these wheels. So 
Obviously not gonna get the competition wheels for now. Eventually, I wanna have a set of TEs for this thing. That's kind of my end goal. Just gonna skip over the competition wheels and save up a little more, you know, wait a little and uh, just go straight to TEs. Exterior, it's got a carbon roof, slick top, no sunroof. Pretty happy about that. I don't really care about sunroofs. Um, carbon mirror caps, these I believe are OEM. They fit perfectly. As for the rear end, pretty much stock, stock diffuser. It's got this little wing, we're gonna keep this. Definitely not gonna throw on that carbon wing that every F80 guy throws on. Not a fan, not a fan. That's pretty much it for the exterior. It's pretty much stock exterior wise. It's just got that front lip. Interior though, this is, this is the good stuff right here. Check it. Oh, that red interior just looks so good. Headliner, black, it's like, it's not suede. I don't know what it is, but freaking love the interior on this thing. It's minty. So yesterday when we were at Ben's place, I totally forgot to mention this of how I found this car. So it's a pretty funny story. My brother cuts hair and I just randomly stopped by his house to drop some stuff off. And Ben lives in Sacramento, but he was in town with a friend because he was helping someone transport a car, one of, one of our buddies. So I randomly stopped by my brother's house. We went into his barber shop and that's where I met Ben. And as typical car guys, we just start talking about cars. I asked him what he has. He says he has an F80. I asked him what color it was. He said, it's white. I said, nice, nice. I said, what color is the interior? He said, it's red. I was like, bruh. And I was on the hunt for a car. So, you know, and then I asked him, is it manual or DCT? He said, it's DCT, wife spec. And I was like, bruh, bad timing. I just picked this thing up. This was in September. So like this thing was in the works. This was the priority. So it's been, it was pretty bad timing. Anyways, he told me he had a white F80 with red interior and he was willing to let it go. And I was like, yikes, I need it. I need it, I do need it, I did need it. I need to get rid of this thing. So we've been talking since September and we made it happen. Shout out to Ben for you know selling this thing to me. I'm super stoked on it. It's pr primarily gonna be the wife's daily. I'm gonna be probably driving this thing in the Z. We're gonna get rid of the Lexus. This will probably be the wife's primary car. She actually hasn't seen it yet. So I'm gonna go grab her in a second, but um, the other mods this thing has, it obviously has intakes, downpipes. It's on uh, boot mode. So um, it's stage two, this thing rips. You can ask Alec, I let him drive it yesterday. It rips. <laughs> it rips. <laughs> no, this thing is a ripper. Um, I don't know how much it's making, probably like, I don't know. I don't know much about BMWs. I'm not gonna act like I do, but I'm, I'll probably guess like 450-ish. We were gonna try to top it out yesterday, but Eddie was not gonna let that happen. I mean, we got, we got pretty close, I'd say, to topping it out. It we were just close, yeah. a little off, yeah. but yeah, this thing's a ripper. Um, it's DCT, so, if you guys have never driven a DCT car, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, if you let off the brake, it's pretty much a neutral. It's not gonna roll like an, a typical automatic car. So I'm pretty uh, nervous to see how the wife feels about that. She's, it's something you gotta get used to. So we're gonna go grab her. She's gonna see the car for the first time. Maybe we'll take it out. Sheesh, we got another new car. So funny thing, we picked this up yesterday and my little brother picked up an M340. What's up brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, man. the wife is outside. This is her first look. What do you think? Apparently, we have a pet frog. We have a couple pet frogs. That frog's been going crazy. <laughs> this is your new daily. Look, she likes it. She's smiling. She's smiling. She likes it. She approves the F80. What do you think, Angelina? Oh yeah, yeah. First, 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 uh, first time in the car. Wow. The red interior. How's the interior? It's so leathery. Yeah. <laughs> Not like the Lexus. You want to start her up? Yeah, start her. Stage two tune, um, and if you put it in sport, it's got a little bit of a little pop. And then if you put it in sport plus, it's like pretty aggressive. Never been a fan of that, but if you ever want to just like pop 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 on someone, you just turn it up a little bit. BMW you guys. All right, we'll, we'll do it real quick right now. So this is uh, with the valves closed, like no pop. And then um, put it in sport, it's got a little bit of pop. Hold on, we we'll go sport plus. So this is where it like really pops. You close the valves and it's quiet. Yeah, that's the point. Anyways, for the daytime running lights, there's this app. <laughs> What's he, up? He likes the F80. Mailman pulled up. Bruce. He likes the F80. <laughs> He's asking if it's for sale. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Say what's up to the vlog. How much is that? I'll come for a ride. Alright, I'll give you a ride later. Next time, stop by. Yeah. Alright, brother, have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Super chill guy. <laughs> what was he saying? Zero mailman is cool, my, is my mailman. 
Oh yeah. You just move this around? Put on pink. Pink? Wait, I need this hat. Oh, yeah. oh, where's pink? Yeah, Angelina well, needs that. She's going to be dipping with it. Pink. Yeah, Dude, yeah. yeah. yeah she needs it. Hey, so if you're ever in a hurry home, this is what you do. Let me show you. Let me show you. This All right. You right here. No. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> bro, if you literally pull up on someone bro, like that, like, at night, yes, bro, if you have red and blues, that's no, a felony, bro. It, easy. Just, just tell them my app tripped out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. App be tripping. No, the app was tripping. <laughs> Anyways, the car is lowered on um, lowering springs as well. So it's pretty flush. It flushed. looks good. Currently, the it, rear. It needs 275s, yeah, though. Currently, the rear has 255s just because he didn't have 275. So I'm going to throw 275s on in the rear. It'll be a little, a little more meaty. A little more aggressive yeah, fitment in the rear. A little more yeah. aggressive with more meat in the rear. And then we'll space the front wheels out a bit, but the plan with this car is I want a pretty aggressive like track yeah. with, with some TEs. But yeah, it's going to be our daily. It's going to be a daily driver, but at the same time, it's going to be a fun weekend car for me. So I kind of want to take it to the track someday. Just go do some like circuit driving. I feel like that'd be fun. That's kind of what these cars are made for. Some time attack. Yeah, yeah. It's like the car is all in one. You can daily it, have fun with it, go hit the track on the weekend. So, you know. Yeah, like I think after I, after I enjoy the F80, like, like I wouldn't mind getting one of these. Where are you getting? Oh, you hear the little trying. pops? It's cute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna record in case he wrecks the lip. Oh yeah, you do. Oh my god, it's like literally this freaking close, bro. Okay, let's go. That's like sport plus traction off. Like that's like as aggressive as it gets. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Here you drive. Oh, let me turn the traction off. Don't mob. Yeah, I'm not. Different in the passenger, dude. Yeah, because when you're driving, you have all control, and the passenger feels way scarier. <laughs> you have no control. So that was a pretty crazy little test drive we did. Um, but yeah, this thing is stage two, so it's got intakes, downpipes, and the main reason, or I wouldn't say the main reason, but a big reason of why I decided to pull through with this car, it has the crank hub done. So that's the common issue with uh, this platform, is uh, the crank hub. When you ha like heavily modify these things and you're, you're making more power, usually your crank hub spins and then your engine's pretty much toast. So that's a preventative thing that you have to do with these cars, and it's super expensive. I think it's like 
ranges from like three to five thousand dollars just to get it done. Yeah, just like uh, <laughs> yeah, so preventative I'm, maintenance. Exactly, five thousand dollars for preventative maintenance, just BMW things. But this thing has it done, so it's pretty much set up perfectly. There's nothing I really have to worry about besides maybe like a valve cover gasket or an oil pan gasket leaking, but that's down the road. This thing's currently at thirty-seven thousand miles, so it's still down there. I think I still have a lot of time to enjoy this thing before we start or hopefully not run into any issues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all the mods it has. Stage two, intakes, down pipes, boot mode, uh, lowering springs, some spacers, and yeah, solid car. First time, first time driving the whip. I think she likes it. <laughs> I think it's definitely she... easier than a truck. <laughs> yeah, 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 so she's been driving the truck a little bit lately and it's a little too big for her, so. Yeah. I think she approves of this car. The DCT, she got used to real quick. I didn't think you would like the little like jerky in the beginning. It's not jerky, you just have to let it engage. Yeah, but yeah, it's currently wet out. And one thing I was a little worried about with this car is I just wanted to make sure, you know, it doesn't like, the rear end doesn't kick out when it's wet out. Cause this is a car she's gonna be driving a lot. And um, this thing actually has a lot of grip. I'm really surprised. On our drive home, it was pouring and I was still doing 70, 80, and, and the grip was there. Rear end didn't really kick out, so that's reassuring. I know it's not just the car, it's good tires, and we're currently on 255s in the rear. I'm gonna go up to 275, so essentially that should be even more grip. So you're, you're in safe hands. Thank you. <laughs> So it's been a couple of weeks of enjoying this car now and we haven't been able to line it up with Eddie yet because we've been having pretty crappy weather. It's just always wet outside and he's actually out of town right now. So we'll probably have to do that in another video. But the plan for right now is to just take this thing out on a little spirited drive. I have absolutely zero photos of this thing. So we're gonna go take some photos. My boy Michael came through. He hasn't been in the car yet. So we'll get his reaction of the whip as well. But yeah, we're gonna take it out on drive, get some photos and call it good. and stay tuned because we're gonna line this thing up with Eddie's M340 here soon. Um, I also already got some parts for this thing. I got some side skirts, a rear diffuser, so we're gonna install that on the car here pretty shortly. And then the only thing left would be to get a set of wheels. I'm gonna try to make that happen here soon, hopefully in the next couple of months. So besides all that, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a comment, drop a thumbs up. It really helps me out and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>